Causes of Congenital Heart Disease by Lisa McCabe. Hello, my name is Lisa McCabe. I'm a clinical nurse specialist at Children's Hospital Boston in the cardiology program. I will be talking to you today about the causes of congenital heart disease. Cardiac development occurs between the fourth and seventh week of fetal life. Congenital heart disease occurs in approximately eight to 10 out of 1,000 live births. Of these, approximately two to three of 1,000 are considered critical, meaning they require medical or surgical intervention in the first days or weeks of life in order for the infant to survive. There is limited understanding of the causes of heart disease. Certain types of heart defects are associated with genetic defects, family history, or exposure to drugs or maternal illness. In 85 to 90 percent of infants, no cause of the heart defect is identified. Eight percent of all infants with congenital heart disease have a chromosomal abnormality. Problems with chromosomes that result in genetic syndromes often result in a higher incidence of heart defects. Trisomy 21 is an example. The most severe form of this is an atrioventricular canal defect. Health problems associated with genetic syndromes may not only include cardiac defects, but also defects of limbs, kidneys, lungs, vertebra, palate, or gastrointestinal tract. Extra cardiac anomalies are seen in 20 to 45 percent of congenital heart disease patients. Approximately 1% of all children are born with congenital heart disease. The risk is higher when either parent has congenital heart disease or when another sibling is born with heart defect. It is important to ask about family history of heart disease and maternal history of heart disease to help the family understand the degree of risk associated with future pregnancies. In families in which one child has heart disease, the risk for heart disease in siblings increases from 1% to 2%. In families in which a child has a heart defect on the left side of the heart, such as coarctation of the aorta or hypoplastic left heart syndrome, the risk increases to 8 to 14 percent. The offspring of a parent who has congenital heart disease also have an 8 to 14 percent chance of developing heart disease. Many mothers of infants born with heart disease will blame themselves and try to recall behaviors during pregnancy that could be a cause for their child's illness. It is important to remember that most cases of congenital heart disease have no known cause. Some types of heart defects are known to occur more often when the mother has rubella in the first trimester, insulin-dependent diabetes, maternal cytomegalovirus, systemic lupus erythematosus, or maternal phenylketonuria. Counseling is important for women with these chronic illnesses before becoming pregnant. It is important for a woman to review her medications with her doctor before becoming pregnant or as soon as she is aware that she is pregnant. Some medications can be changed or stopped. Others must be continued for the health and safety of the mother. Please help us improve the content by providing us with some feedback.